So I walk up to the dude and I'm like, like, fuck you, bitch. You know, you throwing drinks like you want to throw drinks on women. Why don't you fucking do something to me, bitch? And um, he's like, oh, like, oh, what are you talking about? Trying to deny it at first. And then he like gets all smart and I, like pushed him. Everybody in the fucking everybody in the lobby is looking at us now. <laughs> Jazz Every music stop. Oh, so she says, what was the deal with the woman that slapped your phone on the first night? I could play that, actually. There was this big fat bitch having a fucking full rumble uh, in the middle of the street in uh, Ebor, <laughs> we in jumped Ebor on City. Fucking that was the at, the, at the end of the clip, this Cuban bitch slaps my phone out of my hand into the ground. And it kills the video. I pick up the phone. Me and her almost got into a real fight in the middle of Ebor City. She pushed me. Right after that, she like fucking pushed me, and then I got in her face. I think I took the Hawaiian shirt I had on. You guys not, have not seen that clip. Fucking, there was a person there who has the whole thing recorded, and I couldn't get the third because you know you have to upload it to Dropbox or something. You couldn't just send it right. through uh, text message. But yeah, it got way more heated than that. After she touched my phone, like I was like, "Fuck no!" You're bitch. ready to fucking throw hands. Let's yeah, like I was in bitch. her face, like "Fuck you, bitch." And I was like, you got to go back. I said, they all got to go back. I started talking loud as fuck. <laughs> I swear to God, I was in her face. It's like, bitch, you got to go back. Like, talking all kinds of shit. You, you'll see another video where some, like, some chunky, some chonker chick comes up and gets mad at Ralph because he was videoing this whole incident. And she starts screaming at him and, like, hitting him. And Ralph's like, what the fuck? I'm Ethan Ralph, and he rips off his giant Hawaiian shirt. It was the wildest thing ever. Like he's gonna fight this fat uh, Latina Latin X chick. Will be very PC. He's gonna fight this chick, and uh, in that encounter, 100% Ralph was right. He didn't do anything. This chick came up and started like punching him and stuff. It was it was wild. This was like I think this was. Thursday night. This is like the first night we're there. It was crazy. Honestly, it's probably good I didn't put that clip out. It's probably good I didn't. I wanted to put it out. I was on Twitter talking about wait for part three. This is coming out. And then it was getting to be like, uh, I'm probably not going to get the clip or it's going to be really hard to get the clip. And then I started thinking, nah, maybe better that it doesn't. Maybe better that it doesn't get put out. Also at the oh. Dick Show, by the way, the, the Road Rage was amazing. Everybody there was cool as fuck. Talked to Ricada. I was sitting there next to Ricada when I was backstage. And I was like, here, look at this. And I put out a tweet and said, what the fuck? Nick Ricada just, or I said, Ricada just <laughs> disavowed me backstage. What the fuck? And then he's like, I'm not going to like it or retweet it or acknowledge it or anything. He's like, just let it sit there and see what happens. Um, and sure enough, people were like, oh my God, what, Ralph? You got disavowed backstage. What? First off, the whole fucking construction of the tweet is a joke we're backstage at the same fucking backstage mind you we're backstage at the same comedy event we're both performers on what do you mean like the whole thing is a joke in the first place, what do you mean disavow me backstage we'd already been talking all weekend i don't know i just thought it was hilarious um, just some people just take the internet too seriously it's, it's all. so That's funny all it i knew how it would, i knew how some of them would be that's why i did it in the first place some people knew it was a joke right away but the slower among us did not know that yeah shout to aggie he was there too uh ryan long was fucking fun as fuck to hang out with i hung out him with him a lot on friday night the karaoke uh, we had so much fun great guy legend and he's just getting more legendary by the day uh said a lot of nice things about me as well and so thank you for that uh danny Polishuk, all these guys mersh and royce um i only saw royce on the night of the event but i saw mersh pretty much the whole weekend um and everybody else um carl uh from watp who else am i forgetting i'm forgetting somebody but everybody there, of course, Dick himself. It was a lot of fun. It was legendary. I will say this, and I almost didn't put it out because, you know, you hate to talk about the negative. But there was there were some people trying to, you know, set me up on some shit. Some dude tried to, some dude tried to offer me a dab hit. And then later on, uh, by the way, I don't, you know, whatever. I'm not going to comment on that one way or the other. But they don't test for THC in Virginia. Weeds decriminalize in Virginia anyway. 
it doesn't matter. Like they literally don't test for marijuana or THC. So, uh, but then later he's like, Ralph was smoking meth and all this shit. I was like, no, no way. What the fuck? I'm going to smoke meth in like front of 500 people. The guy was literally retarded. Uh, and I should, if I'd have seen that he was like trying to record me and shit, I would have knocked the fuck out of that dude. He well, I'll tell so you, I'll tell you who I think that guy is because, uh, no, nah, he's just lucky. He's just lucky I didn't see that. He's lucky I didn't see that because I would have beat the holy hell out of that piece of shit. Uh, but anyway, whatever. That happened. Yeah. I don't care who he is. I don't care who he is. Don't give him no more attention. He, he, whatever. He's a loser. And then before that, at the event, somebody walked by and fucking, yeah, Ralph's too fat to be on meth. Yeah, that's a good point, too. But somebody <laughs> walked by. That's true. So I'm standing like right here. May's right here, I think, and Pay's right here, if you can see that. Um, to the, you know, like this towards me, like right here and right here. And so some guy walks by like really fast and like some drink gets all over like their legs and their ass basically. And the dude just keeps walking like fast as fuck up the stairs. And they're like, this guy just, I didn't even realize what happened at first. And they go, this guy just threw a drink on us. Like, what the fuck? And they're like, what the fuck? You know, we're wet. Like, what? The? And I'm like, wait, you sure that he, you know, didn't drop it or whatever? They're like, no, he just walked. He just threw a drink on us and kept walking up the stairs. Somebody threw, tried to throw a drink at Ralph and one of During the multiple the show? before the show. He was just walking in the lobby and somebody tried to, somebody full on threw a drink at him. And uh, both of the women that he was there with walked, like took the bullet for him. By, by accident or did they I think on purpose. They dove in like the same bodyguard. Mr. Ralph, yes. No. Wow. Those are keepers. And then Ralph goes and chases the guy through the theater. And so... I was like, well, I mean, fuck that. We're going to go look for him. So me and Fed Zeppelin, who was also there, I was beelining upstairs. Like, All right, we're about to find this guy. So Fed starts walking with me because I mean, he, probably, he probably thought we were about to get in a fight. So I go up there, and I didn't really know. I didn't really see him, so I couldn't find him. They said white hoodie. And so I couldn't find him, didn't see him. I walk back down. I'm talking to them. He walks back downstairs. And so once they – and they're like, that's him. So I walk up to the dude and I'm like, like, fuck you, bitch. You know, you throwing drinks like you want to throw drinks on women. Why don't you fucking do something to me, bitch? And um, he's like, oh, like, oh, what are you talking about? Trying to deny it at first. And then he like gets all smart and I, like pushed him. Everybody in the fucking everybody in the lobby is looking at us now. <laughs> Jazz Every, music stopped. Everybody. And I'm just like, fuck you, bitch. Do something. And then like people finally people were like getting in between us. And like I'm still just like bring it Fuck you why don't you do something to me punk bitch I still don't know if he was trying to do that to me Or pansy or whatever I think he was maybe trying to do it to me But you know some people Are really that big of a pussy That they would try to just fuck with some female Like I don't know um, So then the only part that was recorded Is the part where he walks up He walks off and he's flipping me off And there's like three or four people holding me back So he walks into the Into the like audience I gotta go do the show I'm walking up to do the show I think May and Pay both are there with me um, And Riley comes over to me Dick's producer's like hey what happened what happened I was like you know and we told him And he said oh that guy's gone we're getting him out of there um, Which they did Throw him out of the event so shout out To that guy who got thrown out and didn't get to see Shit uh, which I thought was Hilarious uh, and I didn't Beat his ass I didn't get any charges uh, so that was also probably good, Gator. But he did get thrown out, and I have no sad feelings about that whatsoever. I think that's the funniest womp. fucking thing. Womp womp. You lost sixty dollars for nothing. Um, so shout out to that guy, whoever he is. I don't even know who the fuck it was. I literally don't. Uh, but yeah, that happened. But that was pretty much those two things. Were like most of the only dampers on the weekend, and they're not that big uh, in the in the grand scheme of things. Um, I had a great time. I want to thank Dick Masterson again publicly for letting the me be legend. a part of it. The legend, yeah, the legend. It really is something different when you do the the live performance. And I had an amazing time, uh, and I want to do some more stuff like that. So.